Hello, my name is Tyrell Steins. I'm a critical care paramedic and critical care coordinator for Lifestar Emergency Medical Services. And with Lifestar purchasing the Tempest Pro and Tempest LS cardiac monitor, I figured it was high time to do a refresher about the limb leads and proper placement. Does it matter or doesn't it matter? Here we have two rhythms and we have lead three and lead three. And this is the same patient and relatively the same time and on the same day, but why do they look so vastly different? Here is AVF and AVF. And once again, same patient, same time, same place, same day. And why do these look vastly different? Why do we see a major difference here? Why do we go with our axis deviation of 15 degrees to 31 degrees? And why, why do these leads look different? What is the difference? The difference is proper placement versus placement of the limb leads on the core. And so the limb leads are named limb leads because they need to be on the limbs and not the core. And it does matter. It does make a difference and will change the way your 12 lead looks. So here, once again, the electrodes are on the wrists and the ankles versus the electrodes below the clavicles and on the sides of the abdomen. Likewise, again, with AVF. Here we have me with the precordial leads in green and the limb leads in pink and you'll notice they're on the wrists and the ankles, the extremities of where they're supposed to go. Here we have me with the precordial leads and the limb leads, but they're on the deltoids and then the thighs. And then here we have me with the limb leads on the core and the precordial leads on, and that is going to drastically change the EKG. But the hospital does it, so wait. Why, why do they get to do it? Well, their machine, their algorithms are calculated differently than our machine and our al algorithms. And so the hospital can put them where they are trained to do so. And we are going to put, place the limb leads where we are trained to do so. And the manufacturer says that they are limb leads and not core leads. You'll notice here's just a chart of the extremities versus the deltoids and thighs versus the core and the 15 degrees and 15 degrees and 31 degrees. And so that is statistically significant change. The experiments down below are from a Zoll monitor that I conducted in 2016. And there was even a larger, more extreme difference in those experiments. The Tempest Pro, uh, that gap has narrowed, but it is still statistically significant that of a change. And so we need to be putting on the, ex the, on the limb leads on the extremities or using the deltoids and the thighs. We should not be putting a 12 lead on the core. And so if you want a 12 lead, you have to use the deltoids and thighs or the extremities. Obviously there's exceptions to the rules for everything. If your patient doesn't have arms and legs, you just do the best you can. And so if you just want a four lead and nothing else, the core is perfectly acceptable. If you want a diagnostic 12 lead, completely different story. Do not use the core for your limb lead placement. And so what do you get out of a three lead or a four lead? You get a rhythm and a rate. And so if all you want is a rhythm and a rate and you do not need a 12 lead, then you can use the core and that's perfectly acceptable. If on the other hand, you want to obtain a 12 lead and you wanna know a little bit more and other information such as, you know, quite a bit of other things. This is definitely not a comprehensive list. This is a small list of what a 12 lead will tell you, what a diagnostic 12 lead with 
proper placement of the limb leads on the limbs or the deltoids and the thighs. So if you want to know more information other than just a rate, just a rhythm, then you're going to do a 12 lead. And if you do a 12 lead on the Tempest Pro, then you are going to have to place the limb leads on the thighs and deltoids or on the wrists and the ankles. And so you have to do a 12 lead if you if you want accuracy and you want extra all this extra information then you have to do a 12 lead and if you're doing a 12 lead then you have to have proper placement thank you that is all and have a great day